Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. When, whatever titles I need to add on to that. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we talked about uh, the previous videos how all you got to do to be successful is make less mistakes than everybody else. That's it. You don't need to be Bezos or Gates or whoever. Da, da, da. Uh, you don't need to do any of these things. Just make less mistakes than everybody else. Remember, life is a marathon. Right? You, you make less mistakes over the course of time, over the course of a marathon, you're going to win. Uh, so so what, what are some of the basic uh, mistakes that you want to avoid? That's what we'll talk about in this video. And, uh, you know, they may seem, seem simplistic, but they really aren't. And I want to show you how... Uh, it applies to trading and relationships and life and right they're, they're, they're all the same okay all right so one would you trade doing drugs drunk gambling guessing with absolutes or womanize right in in stocks would you do these things and and think you're you're going to be successful Right. So womanize. What does womanize mean? Well, women, womanizing or manizing <laughs> made it up um, basically is jumping from one stock to the other, to the other, to the other. I've been through it. I was going from one stock to the other stock, to the other stock, to the other stock. And guess what? I was right. And I was kept being right. Why? Because the overall market was going up. So it looked great. I'm like, yeah, you know. In fact, I was running around telling everybody, you know, I'm a stock trader. Let me tell you how it works. And, uh, you know, I have the system and uh, you know who I am. And let me tell you how it is. I was young. <laughs> Sucking my thumb still. Or my index finger. And let me tell you, i tell you about stocks. Yeah. As long as the market was going up everything seemed perfect and then once the market turned over and i didn't have the big macro view of things guess what <laughs> i kept jumping from stock to stock to stock to stock to stock womanizing my ass off and all of them were duds i kept losing and losing and losing and losing blew up several accounts doing it humbling humbling Now, let me let me back up here a little bit. My grandfather told me when I was young, he used to sit me down in Greece and about 5 o'clock in the afternoon every day. He would have his coffee, his cigarette. He would smoke like five cigarettes a day, and that was one of them. And he would start lecturing me and blah, 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 blah. Something that a lot of the stuff he said stuck in my head, although I, I was like, what the fuck's he talking about at the time? Uh, he said, look, he goes, no matter how much money you make in life, if you don't know how to use money, you're going to lose it. I'm like, the fuck, if you made money, why the fuck would you, you know? And that's true. Now that I'm half a century old, I figured it out. He's right. You got to know how to use money. Right, how to invest it properly. Um, you want to avoid the big mistakes. The big mistakes again: doing drugs in life, drinking, gambling, guessing with absolutes, and womanizing. Okay. And in, in trading terms, that means you don't want to be. Uh, Jumping from stock to stock to stock, thinking the next one is going to make you more money than the one you just gave up. Um, if, if we think about guessing with absolutes, you know, Buffett didn't become Buffett because he guessed better than everybody else. And, you know, GameStop is going to go up. Look at the chart. It's going up. You know, we're going to fuck the man. Yeah, short squeeze. Yeah, you know. That, that would be guessing with absolutes. Okay. Um... The, um, the alcohol. I used to drink. 
uh, I used to play fucking quarters with vodka. Two thirds of a bottle gone. I could stand up, still get it up. <laughs> All right? I was the man. However, uh, when I became a professional pilot in my early 20s, I'm like, mm, do I want to risk getting drunk, doing something stupid, maybe getting a DUI and losing my whole career after I worked so hard for it, spent so much money? No, I ain't doing that. You know, in my 50s, I can say, damn, I was a smart guy. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> right? In my early 20s to think like that. Because uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Right? Um, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it in training. You shouldn't do it in life. Okay? And I'll explain a little further here soon. I never really did drugs. Uh, but I know some people do do drugs recreationally. Um, and you don't want to gamble. I used to gamble when I was young. I started gambling at 18. My career was over by 20. <laughs> Again, you know, I went to the casino. I went out. You know, some guy. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you, son. You know, it's very simple. You put five on red. You know, if it doesn't come out, then you put another five down. You know, uh, you put 10 and then 20 and then you know whatever. You do that. You're gonna see. You're gonna. You know. Well. <laughs> few years later, I figured out what the bell curve is, <laughs> right? I think I think I was wrong, like, fuck, I don't know how many times. And I put down, like, I don't know. It wasn't five that was I started with. Uh, and I put down, like, $1,500 on one bet on red. And the fucking thing came out of black. Lost my fucking ass. I was driving home, and I'm like... What the fuck did I just do? How many times would I have to be right betting $5 and get it consistently right to make up for this, whatever it was, $3,500 loss? How many How many fives into three and a half? That, it's over. Done. I could have gotten that money. Bought the finest fucking dress for my woman. Finest fucking suit for me. Shoes banging. Italian made. Handmade. Went to Lebec Fen and ate my ass off. Rented a fucking suite at the best fucking, you know, Ritz Carlton. Suite. Top. Fucked their brains out. And still. <laughs> still. I will have fucking money left over. Plenty. Right? So you see, even at 20, I was kind of thinking logically. That was that was the last time I gambled uh, like that, which, you know, back then, you know, $3,500 was a lot. Okay? It was an enormous amount. Um... I gambled once, you know, a couple other times, but that was it. That was the end of my gambling career. I ain't going to do that shit again. So, Grandpa was right again. Don't be fucking gambling, right? Uh, drugs I didn't do, but, you know, i would never seen anyone on drugs, even recreationally, that it, it had ended up well for them, okay? Uh, we talked about womanizing. What do they call it? Uh, monkey branching, right? Everybody wants to level up. Everybody wants to level up. Guessing with absolutes. That's that's part of gambling, I think. But you know, when when you say things with absolute, I I can't tell you <laughs> how many times in my life have I been so sure about something and. Uh, Nah, this is the way it is. Nah, don't fucking tell me. You know. Only to figure out later on in life <laughs> that I would eat shit with that guessing with absolute. With the fucking shovel I was eating. Shit. You're going to eat your words. Don't do it. It's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt. It's going to ruin relationships. It's going to 
ruin job opportunities. It's going to ruin. Uh, it's going to ruin a lot of things for you. This guessing with absolutes thing is it's fucking deadly. Okay. Uh, so don't do it. Remember how in the beginning of this video I was telling you that I was telling everybody what a stock trader I am, and you know let me tell you about stock trading because the market was going up and every fucking womanizing stock that I was jumping to was working out for me. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about eating shit? And let, now you should buy this stock, and you know I'm a pilot, and I I'm going to tell you about airlines. Yeah, I'll tell you about airlines, sure. Um, so. Guessing with absolutes is fucking deadly, all right? So these these are the the basics. They seem simplistic, and I know, I know. But think about it in your life, you know. Remember, life is going to give you the test first, and then it's going to give you the lesson, <laughs> okay? Now, again, I'm no psychiatrist or sociologist. I don't have a PhD. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a this and I'm not a that, okay? I'm just a guy that's been on this earth for half a century. That's it. That, take what I say, my advice, for what it's worth. And if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. You know, leave a comment. Tell me how I can do it better. But, um, you know, that's... It's, I almost feel obligated that I have to make these videos, you know, at my age, because, you know, it, it's so unfair that at 25, I made a decision, and most people, you know, 25, 30, whatever, they make a decision about the rest of their lives, you know, they're going to marry somebody, and that's ingrained in your head, right, from your parents, you make a decision, but you don't know your ass from your elbow, <laughs> and, um, and, and, you better hope that that person that you married doesn't have those characteristics. You don't want some guy or gal that is drinking recreationally, right, of course, um, drugs, uh, guessing with absolute, right, she kind of knows it all, uh, the um, gambling, right, or is uh, womanizing or manizing, I guess, <laughs> right? Uh, you don't want that. Um, because believe me in life, you're going to go through some tough shit. All right. Um, and women have the tendency of leaving a relationship more often than men. Men are designed to kind of stick it out a little bit longer. doesn't mean that, oh, you know, aren't they just fucking great, man? I love them. <laughs> There's a lot of this hatred for men and hatred for women going on right now. I am not part of that. That's not what I'm saying. Just because a guy sticks it out a little bit longer than a woman does, doesn't mean the guy's not making her fucking life miserable. Okay, so take that for what it's worth. So anyway, let's get let's get back. Let's look at it from a woman's standpoint. Do you want to marry a guy that recreationally drinks consistently, or does drugs, or gambles, or guesses with absolutes, or he's a, you know, was a womanizer because you know he's a stud and whatever, and, uh, right? Um, and then the shit hits the fan. So w w what do I mean the shit hits the fan? I don't give a fuck how much money you're making. If you're making this much money and your lifestyle is this, right? In the best case scenario, usually it's this. But let's say it's this, right? When that money goes and you have money problems, your lifestyle cannot come down here. It's very difficult. It would take a very long time. And the rate of change is going to be very painful, okay? So money troubles. What's the other one? Health problems. Uh, in my lifetime, I thought I was going to die twice. <laughs> like, I'm done. Uh, and uh, and it, it's very expensive, okay? Um, it's it's very difficult. Good luck convincing me that I wasn't going to die back then. You know, uh, I had some health issues. I'm, I'm okay. I'm alive. I'm, I'm going to live to 150, whatever. But not, not at the moment. It seemed like, you know, <laughs> shit was bad. All right. So, again, we're looking at it from a woman's standpoint. Do you want a guy whose drinking level is here, the shit hits the fan, and what do you think is going to happen to his drinking level? That's right. What do you think is going to happen to his recreational drug use? That's right. What do you think? You think that's the time to start fucking guessing with absolutes? <laughs> Absolutely. You, you think he should gamble his way out of that? No. And, and believe me, there's guys out there that, that think they can go out and gamble because they're that good. Uh, 
during times of crisis. I know it sounds stupid and crazy, but it happens. You think that's the time to start womanizing? Forget about it. Right. Um, you know, looking for different options because his wife doesn't have money, so he's going to find some other chick and get away from it all, right, uh, or vice versa. Now let's look at it from a man's standpoint, okay? Um, the guy gets fucked up, he loses his job, whatever fucking happens, his health deteriorates for whatever, you know, he starts looking fucking weak, you know, he, he's fucking uncertain, he's trying to figure it all out, and here comes his wife, now she starts drinking or increasing her uh, recreational drug use, or, you know, now she's uh, thinking of monkey branching to somebody that, you know, is stronger and tougher, as if it's not going to happen to him, by the way. Um, or, or starts to, you know, start guessing with absolutes. Oh, he's finished. He's done. You know, he, he'll never recover from this and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and starts manizing, right? Uh, do you want that partner next to you? Whatever fucking problems you have at that point in time in life, you are dependent on that other person that you married, that they're going to, they're going to stick it out. Right, they're gonna they're gonna go through this problem together, and she gets up and leaves. You think you had problems just with whatever you're dealing with at the moment? You got double the problems with this one, right? And vice versa. Okay, so we we have a tendency of during difficult times to make things worse, and you don't want these five characteristics to start coming out at that point in time. So. The best way to avoid, you know, common mistakes, remember, make less mistakes than everybody else. The, the best way to do it is when you're making that decision at 25, 30, 35, whatever you're making, make sure they don't have these five characteristics and make sure you don't have them uh, because they, they will be tested and the outcome is not going to be positive in most cases. So let's take the assumption that, like we said, most relationships last about seven years and 80% of the divorces come from women, okay? So let's say now that you just started out, you bought a home, you got children, you're spending, your, your income is slowly starting to go up, something goes wrong, maybe you get sick, maybe whatever the fuck, right? Something happens, and I know this is justified by women that, well, you know, women would just gravitate to somebody else, you know, some alpha male, and, you know, that's the way we've survived, that's bullshit, I think, but, I mean, I, I get it, back in the day, but I think that's bullshit, but whatever, it is what it is, I, I understand it, but I don't think that's an excuse, but whatever, now, let's say she divorces you, okay, and you end up in this situation where you gotta pay alimony, child support, she's gone, you didn't take care of yourself, um, you're financially fucked up, and, now what? Whatever dreams you had of starting some business or doing some investment or, hey, you know, whatever ideas you had, they just went right out the fucking window. You're finished. Especially if you don't have a lot of money. How are you going to support another girl? And if you do go with another girl, how do you know if she's not going to do the same thing? Right? So what happens? It starts to snowball and you end up fucked up. Okay, now from a woman's standpoint, right, she gets up and leaves and says, this guy's a loser, he's a beta male, he's whatever, uh, I'm going to go with the next guy. And guess what? Two years later, same thing happens to the next guy. <laughs> Does she know that? She doesn't. So it's the same thing in trading. It's, you know, oftentimes you'll see that, you know, you can just buy the S&P 500, right? Just keep adding to it over the course of time. Walk away. Don't trade. Don't get all fucking creative because you don't have the personality for it. You know, you don't have the time for it. Whatever the case may be. Okay? And, and you're safe and you're done. That's it. Good enough. You're, you're diversified. You got some bonds. You got some stocks. You got some real estate. Okay, that's great. However, think of it from a man or a woman. What happens when they get divorced? They take all that stocks and bonds and real estate, everything. They take everything. They go find some shit stock like GameStop because it looks good. It's going straight up. Bet the fucking farm. 
gambling, womanizing, fucking guessing with absolutes, alcoholic and drunk, right? They bet it all on the fucking farm and they're like, okay, now I'm going to do well. <laughs> all, all five fucking mistakes in one. Great job. Yep. You took my advice. Make less mistakes than everybody else. That's the biggest fucking mistake you can make. Right? Is to just get up and leave a relationship just because there's some difficulties. Right? I hope that kind of drives my point home about these simplistic, seemingly simplistic, uh, common mistakes that people make and, and avoid them. Okay. Now I'm not asking you to go out and find some ugly chick, you know, smells like cheese and who are you? Who are you? <laughs> You're so sexy. <laughs> right. I'm not telling you to do that. Well, at least she won't leave me. You don't know that either. <laughs> she might leave you too. Then you got to pay her. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Um, it's not what I'm telling you. You know, make sure that you get along with the person. They're good friends. You know, there's some chemistry there. And, you know, be ready. Be ready. Have a plan B, C, D, E, element of P, whatever. It is. Every, be ready because even the best of relationships... Uh, even the best of stocks, even the best of indexes, um, can lead you to disaster. And you got to be ready for that disaster, always. Okay? So that means you got to, you know, keep, uh, uh, keep good care of yourself, learn to love yourself, be ready to be by yourself, Avoid these mistakes as best as you can. And again, over the course of this marathon called life, you know, if you make less mistakes, you're going to be very, very prosperous. All right. Everything's going to work out great. You're going to be rich. You're going to be happy. Everything's going to be beautiful. All right. That's it for this video. Longer than usual. Sorry about that. But we had five topics to put together and kind of mush it all together. And we'll be making more of these videos. So take care. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Take care. Bye-bye.